Hi there, my name is Steven. We're here at the Michelin Tire Workshop today in order to explain to you how do I choose the right mountain bike tire for my usage. So having the right tire that's optimized for the usage of riding that you're going to do is one of the key things that you can do to optimize your experience on a bicycle. So today we're going to go over the mountain bike range. Michelin has three different uh, product lines that we use to optimize your experience on three different uh, trail experiences, okay? So the first is going to be the cross country tire. We have the Michelin Jet XCR which is a race tire. It's uh, made to really uh, optimize your rolling efficiency. And the Michelin Force XC, which is made to have the most versatile uh, behavior as you're uh, going down the trail, okay? So rolling efficiency and uh, the grip is a little bit improved on this one. Next up, we have the All Mountain tires with the Force AM and the Wild AM. And again, the Force AM is going to have the best uh, rolling efficiency, and the Wild AM is gonna give you a little bit extra grip so that you have uh, that extra bit of control, okay? And finally, we've got the Enduro tire, uh, the Michelin Wild Enduro. This tire is available in uh, models for front and rear, so it's dedicated uh, to whether it's going on the front axle or the rear. And uh, this is going to be the most robust tire that really is going to be the most puncture resistant. It's gonna give you the best traction no matter what you're doing. So I was talking about how each tire is engineered for a specific use and how it's optimized. So I've got two tires here that are similar uses, but uh, slightly different. One is the Wild All Mountain and the other is the Wild Enduro. Uh, they're both wild because they both have a similar uh, look to them. Uh, one, of course, is specialized for the All Mountain use and the other is specialized for the Enduro. So concretely, what does that mean in difference? The Wild All Mountain is going to have a slightly less aggressive tread pattern. The knobbies will be a little bit smaller. Uh, they'll be a little bit closer together and that's going to be so that you get better rolling resistance out of it. So uh, it's going to be optimal on your rolling resistance. For the Wild Enduro, you're going to have uh, larger, slightly harder knobbies on it. Uh, the spacing is going to be a little bit wild and it's going to be so that you can really optimize the grip as you're trying to bomb down those hills. So which tire should you select? Uh, if you're looking for that last bit of performance out of your, out of your bicycle, uh, if you're looking for that last bit of speed, if you want to make sure that you've got the best tire so I can go as fast as possible on my bicycle, then we really recommend that you go with the Wild Enduro. If you're not riding at the level where you're pushing your bike to the max, uh, and maybe uh, you want a little bit uh, better rolling optimization, then the Wild All Mountain is going to be a really good tire for you. So in conclusion, you have your three models. You've got your cross country, your All Mountain, and your Enduro, and you need to select the model that goes along with your style of riding. After that, you've got the diameter of wheel that you need. It's going to be a 26, 27 and a half, or 29 inch. Make sure that you get the right diameter of tire. Uh, finally, you have the section width, and for the section width, uh, make sure that you follow your manufacturer's recommendations uh, for your bicycle manufacturer, okay? After that, uh, here again, at Michelin, we make it easy. The name of the use is in the name of the tire, so uh, go out and buy that, and happy trails! Mm -hmm.